Hey there, in this session we will use the decision tree algorithm for binary classification. It used the tree-like model for decision and their possible consequence, including chance event outcomes. It is simple to understood by a flowchart. In the ML.NET, there are two different trees available for the decision tree, that is fast tree and the fast forest. For this example, I am going to use the dataset of the Titanic passenger. This dataset has the several field, has the passenger ID, flag indicate whether individual survive or not, P class represent the passenger class, name, sex, age of the passenger, SIBSP represent the number of sibling and the spouses aboard. PRCH represent the parent and the children about. Ticket represent the ticket number. Fare, cabinet, and embark represent the port of embarkation. It has around 900 data. For this data set, label will be the survive, and feature will be the age, gender, embark, detail of the sibling spouse, parent child, and the cabinet. Here you can see that it has the few record that does not has the value for the age. It is known as the missing value. We will handle it while preparing the our data. Here I have created the input model. I have just loaded the acquire fields only. And note that I have used the string type for the age instead of the float just for the handling the missing value. In this example, I will create a model and perform the evolution only. This means not going to predict the any value. So result model is not required. Here is the demo class in which we have just loaded the dataset. To evaluate the model, we need the test dataset. So we need to split this dataset. For this use the train test split method. Let's generate the data pre-processing pipeline. The first step is we need to handle the missing value. Before that, we need to convert the age to the numeric value. For this, use the convert type. And the output name will be the numeric underscore age. Input column name will be the age. And the output kind will be the single, that is float. Now we have the numeric value. To handle the missing value, there are two options. Either we can remove the entire record having the missing value, or we can assign the some other value to it. For now, I am going with the second option. Use the context dot transform dot replace missing value. And output column name will be the numeric underscore age underscore without missing value. And input column name will be the numeric age. Replacement mode can be a default value, minimum value, maximum value, or a mean of the all of the value. You can choose it based on the your requirement. I am going to use the main value. We have handled the missing value. Now it's the time to handle the string value. Gender and embark both contain the text value. So we need to convert it into the vectorization. I am going to use one hot encoding here. Generate the encoded gender. And use the same method for embark. We have processed all the required fields. Now we need to generate the feature quorum. For this, we need to concatenate numeric age without the missing value, encoded gender, encoded embark. 
parent child and sibling and spouse detail and fair here data pipeline is created now we need to create a trainer for this we want to use the fast tree for this we need to add the additional nuget package search for the microsoft.ml.fastree and install it create a trainer for the fastree and pass the option label will be survive number of leaves will be 50 you can use the additional hyperparameters too let's create the training pipeline by adding the trainer in the data pipeline and generate the model by passing the training data set in the fit method let me obtain the preview for the data set by transforming it and evaluate using the evaluate method we can use the evaluate non calibrated method when we does not get the probability from the model but for this trainer we can use the evaluate method instead of the evaluate non calibrated pass the data set by transforming label column name will be survive Add the breakpoint at the end. Open the program.cs file. Update the demo to be executed. Save all the files. Then run the project. Here debugger breaks. Let me open the preview in the quick watch. first seven items are the same as the training data set and those seven columns are added by the data prepare pipeline and last three columns are added by the trainer and open the matrix here we can see the it has a pretty good accuracy along with that we get the area under cover confusion matrix entropy negative positive perception and the recall etc here we have used the fast tree we can also use the fast for us in the similar way let me copy paste this trainer comment out the fast tree use the trainer of a fast forest and update the its option Fast forest does not return the probability column, so we need to use the evaluate non calibrated here. Save the files and run the project. Open the quick watch. Expand the value in the matrix. Here we got this mirror accuracy. Let's see what we have learned in this asset. We have learned about the decision tree algorithm for the binary classification. It includes the FS3 and the FS4S. For this, we need to ensure the Microsoft.ml.fast3 from the NuGet. Here is the example of the FS3 that we have created. We have handled the missing value by replacing the min value. We can also replace it with the minimum, maximum, or the default value. Then encode the values for the gender and the embark. 
and concatenate the all of the features into the a single column and use the file tree trainer and specify the number of trees then create a model and perform the evolution just like the normal example here is the example of the fast forest it has the two difference from the fast tree example first is obviously we have to use the fast forest method to obtain the trainer and next is we need to use the evaluate non calibrated for the evolution because fast forest trainer does not create the probability column Goodbye.